Welcome to Tech Wizards with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn how to send file as attachment from Azure Data Factory. So let's say go ahead and take a look uh, here. What I have, uh, I have uh, my blob storage, and in blob storage, uh, I have a few files. Uh, let me see. Maybe I'm, uh, I'm thinking to have more than one, but I looks like it's the only one file. I'm going to go ahead and upload one more file. And uh, what I would like to do, I would like to send the uh, this file as attachment. Um, so I'm gonna actually let's let me do two or three or four, something like that. Okay. So what we have, we have four files sitting, and uh, uh, maybe I'm loading these each file to some table, or maybe I have created this file, and then eventually I want to send each of the files in the email uh, to some recipient. So now what we are gonna do here, we are going to create the Azure Data Factory pipeline so I have opened my Azure data factory here and I'm gonna to go to the pipeline and new pipeline now first of all I need to get the name of this uh, file right and uh, they are in the container called the input container and uh, they, the blob storage is uh, tech resource storage now there could be a lot of scenario maybe you are already have saved the file names in the variable then you're good but uh, in my case i'm thinking uh, i do not have the file name so first of all i would like to get the file name so i'm going to use the get metadata activity and i'm going to go to the data set here i'm going to go to the new and azure blob storage now doesn't really matter csv file or binary file for me but i'm going to go ahead and select that delimited file and now it's gonna ask me, hey, you wanna create a, a link service? Yes, select my subscription and select my blob storage. Now create, next what I would like to do, I would like to provide the, the folder where, or container where these uh, files are. So this is going to be in the input container and, uh, and it doesn't really matter. These files has first row as a header or not because I'm gonna send them as attachment. Now what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna go ahead and hit okay. And now what we will uh, do in the next step, we will select the field list, uh, click on new, and in the arguments, you're gonna select the child items. Uh, now it is gonna get also all the files and uh, I would like to use the for each loop here because uh, I have to iterate uh, through those uh, child items. Uh, so I'm gonna connect my get metadata activity to the for each uh, container here. Now I'm going to go to the activities, uh, so let's go to settings first here, and then go to the items, uh, add dynamic contents, uh, and select the get metadata output dot child items, okay? So that's uh, what I have written right there, so now you're going to get all the child items, that means all the files, uh, hit OK, and now inside the for each loop, uh, maybe we can send the uh, files as attachment. Uh, Let's click there and uh, what I can use here, I can use the web activity, okay? So uh, how I'm gonna use the web activity? Activity. Uh, first of all, uh, let me use the set variable, okay? So I'm going to use set variable. So each time of the for each loop iteration is going to happen, I'm gonna set the variable value. Uh, that variable is going to be, uh, let me set, uh, create the variable here and the uh, good variable. And I'm going to put a file full path. Okay, so this is going to be string inside the for each loop. We went to the set variable, and uh, in the set variable, I'm going to go to the variables here and uh, type uh, the name file full path. And here I'm going to go to the values and go to the add dynamic contents. So, so here I'm going to create the full path for this uh, file name and uh, I know that this is going to be in the input container and then uh, I'm going to add the file name to it. Uh, to do that uh, I have to use the concat function. So concat, I'm going to bring the concat here and then uh, in the concat the first thing uh, what I need, I'm going to put a single quote, backslash input and then uh, backslash and then uh, single quote again and then comma, I'm going to bring uh, the variable here. So what I'm gonna do here, let me show you. So I'm gonna go right there and uh, that's where uh, concat, I'm gonna remove the concat function and for each loop, right? So right here and I'm gonna click uh, for each dot name. So that's my file name. So see right there, this is the expression I have. 
So I have added the con uh, input container and then uh, I have item name. So that means the file name. So I use the concat function here. So that's good. Now what we can do, we can go ahead and hit OK. You can, uh, uh, you are good to go here. We can uh, uh, go ahead and execute the pipeline to see how exactly it is working, if it is creating the correct uh, path for it. Uh, so let's hit debug. So see right here, get metadata. It uh, read that, uh, uh, went through this uh, folder, and then uh, it got us a few file names. Uh, so see right there, that's the first file name, say, and then second file name, and third and fourth. So, so we have four file names here. And for each, uh, got to know like, oh, there are four files. And then inside the set variables, uh, we can see that, uh, see, right, this is the path it is generating. That's good. So we know that uh, these are the different files we have, uh, right? Now, the issue comes here, how we send this these files. So I'm going to go to for each loop again, go to the activities, and here I can use the web activity, okay? In the web activity, I have to, I'm going to connect my, set variable to the web activity and I need to call the web activity, right? So uh, what we have to do here, we have to use the logic app. So, and uh, that's where we are going to get the URL and everything is going to call the HTTP request. Uh, and uh, that's where our logic uh, apps will involve and we will be able to send the email with the attachment. Uh, so go to the Azure portal and uh, we are going to go to the logic apps. In the logic apps, I'm going to hit new and then uh, I will be creating a uh, logic app. So, so Tech Brothers IT resource group, and let's uh, call it Tech Brothers IT logic app. Okay, that's the name is available, and uh, I'm gonna go to the consumption, and uh, then I'm gonna go to the East US. So that's what I would like to select. Hit create. Click on create button again. Our logic app is ready, go to resource and here we will be first of all going to the add blank logic app. So we are going to click there, wait for the search to come and complete and here I am going to type a request. So in uh, uh, if you see uh, I already have request and other different uh, item I have used but um, uh, here if you don't have it you are going to search for request and then you are going to find this. So, once you find the request, uh, you're going to click on when uh, our HTTP request is received. And here we have to pay, create the payload. So these are the values that we can put, bring from the Azure Data Factory to here and then use them. So I'm going to go ahead and create a sample here. And uh, here you can do tons of uh, things, whatever you want to get. In my case, uh, the most, uh, uh, let me see. So uh, let's say if I would like to get uh, uh, pipeline name I, I will say okay fine I will get the pipeline name and then uh, I'm going to do pipeline name okay so pipeline name and uh, then uh, next thing is the, I'm going to get the file file path okay that's important for me and now um, I can uh, do one thing I can just put the uh, single quotes uh, double quotes around here so I am getting the pipeline name here and file path. This file path I'm going to use uh, in, to get the blob. Okay, so I'm going to copy this uh, guy. Just keep it for myself. And uh, let me see. Control A, Control C. I'm just going to paste in this uh, window right here. And uh, then we go back here. Hit OK. And now you see that it has created this uh, very pretty request uh, body for JSON. So it is an object and the properties and then it's saying, hey, your pipeline name, that's what you need to provide and then you need to provide the file path. Okay, so we are good. And how you're going to provide the, uh, this uh, entire information, we are going to use a method. And in the method, we are going to post. Uh, okay, this is good. Now, what is next? Uh, we are going to click right there and add a new step. Uh, now I am going to get to the blob content. Okay, so I'm going to go to the blob content because I need to have that file name, I need to attach that, right? So I'm gonna go to the get blob content. So click right there. And now we have to provide the name for it. I'm gonna call this, uh, let me go back here. Uh, this is my, I can copy this uh, path right there. Just, uh, you can provide any name there, but anyways, uh, in my case, I'm just gonna give this name, okay? 
Now, key is fine. You provide Azure storage account. That's uh, the one I just copied. And then you will be providing the key. So go back to your uh, Azure uh, blob storage, go to access keys and then copy the key. Show keys, copy the key. And uh, go back here and paste it right there. And hit create. Once you do that, it is going to ask you what name you want to use. I'm going to use the same name, but use the connection. And then it's again going to ask you, hey, specify the blob. Okay, here, what we are going to do, we are going to click right there. And then it's going to show us those two JSON properties or items that we just provided in the payload. One is pipeline name, other is file path. That's what I'm going to use here. And the file path. And now we are all good here. And the next, what I want to do, I need to add another step where we would like to send an email. I'm going to use the Outlook here. So I will use the Outlook to send an email. So I'm going to use Outlook.com. And in your case, you might be using Office 365 Outlook if you are working with the company. And then what we are going to use here, send email. Send an email. Okay. So we selected that, it's asking you, hey, you want to log in? Yes, I do want to log in. And it is asking me my username, and it logged me in. So it is creating that. Now it is asking me, hey, what email you would like to send the, uh, your uh, files and all that. So I'm going to put my Gmail account here. So I'm sending to Gmail. You can send to different people. You can have subject. So all these things can be coming from subject, uh, body and all that you can bring from the data factory in my case i'm bringing only pipeline name and file folder okay so that's fine and uh, i will say adf files file attach okay so now what you can do here in the subject uh, in the body you can say hi please find below attached file and then now you can uh, put the name if you want something like this and uh, use uh, and uh, show to the HTTP and see right there we have file path so it will also uh, kind of give you which file path you're using and then you can say thank you and uh, you can say tech brothers it LLC okay so that's cool and now we are going to use uh, add uh, another parameter that's going to be attachment uh, once you do that uh, it's going to ask you, hey, what is the name of the attachment? So in this case, uh, I'm going to go ahead and use the exact name. So it will be like, okay, my file uh, uh, full path. That will be the name of my attachment. Then uh, in this case, it is asking me, hey, what is the attachment content? So I have to use right here. I'm going to go to the blob content and say get, uh, for, use the file content. That's the content I would like to do. If I go back here in the blob uh, right there, so you see here we are providing the path and then it's going to get us that blob content. So we are all good here. And uh, what we need to do now, we need to go to the, sorry, we need to copy actually HTTP URL that just got generated. We are going to copy, click on the web activity here. And once you click there, we are going to go to settings and provide the URL. After the URL, you're going to select the method. So remember, we use the post method in our logic apps. That's the same method we are going to use here. And here we will be building the body. And if you remember that, we use the two uh, elements here. So these are the two values we have. So I'm going to copy the same thing, go back to the our uh, body, and add dynamic content. Now, in this case, what you can do, First of all, in the pipeline, you can provide the pipeline name. I did not actually use pipeline name in anywhere in the logic app, so, but we could have used it. I will use, let, let me make some changes, I will use it. So in these uh, double quotes, what you're going to do, you're going to use add the rate and curly parentheses. And here we can provide the, the pipeline name. So if I go to the system functions and here I have pipeline name. So I'm going to click right there. That looks good. And second is uh, I have to provide uh, the file path. That's more important. So I'm going to do at the rate. And if you guys remember that uh, we have created uh, the value and saved that value. So file full path. 
we set uh, we use uh, the set variable and uh, use this value so, okay so we are gonna be all good here I'm just gonna copy this one and just uh, I will put this in description uh, so later on if you want to use it uh, okay so you just can see right there file path this file path is going to be passed uh, uh, to the uh, Azure logic app so and then uh, uh, it, it will get the content uh, that blob and then send us an email okay so we are all good here now let me make a little small right there hit ok and now we should be all set uh, uh, I'm gonna publish this and uh, hit ok so if you notice that uh, each um, in the pipeline it's gonna get the list of the file by using get metadata so then for each loop is gonna loop through each file and then what's gonna happen uh, it's going to set the value of that variable so in each of the execution a new value will be set for this variable and if you see that i have added the blog, uh, blog container uh, with the, the file name so uh, that's it's going to get the full uh, uh, path you know for the file and then it's going to call this web activity where uh, we have created the url by using the logic apps and we are providing a file pipeline name and our file path okay so we are all good here let's go to the pipeline and uh, see right there we executed this uh, so let's uh, yeah I have not executed as of now actually this is the previous execution one thing I want to do here if you guys notice I do not use the pipeline anywhere so if I want to say hey or even I put want to put the pipeline name in the subject I can do that and I can say pipe line name and put colon here and see the pipeline okay so I use the pipeline name here so file name and uh, this is also coming here okay so we are all good here now what we can do we are here gonna hit save and uh, after that what's gonna happen now uh, we are going to execute our Azure Data Factory pipeline so now we will receive multiple emails so we in this case I'm going to receive four emails because I have four files sitting in the blob container and on each of the iteration it's going to send me an email so let's go refresh and you see right there okay so first it get the, the get metadata uh, it got the list of the files and then uh, uh, for each loop told how many total files are there and set variable so each time it's set in the values you know you can see in the web it is passing those values right there so let's click right there so you can see right there this is a URL and this is the file name so you can see right there 8 9 this is and then in the next one there will be other one so you can see right there issue region 29 and all that so I have different file names and each time it is getting different uh, file name so now what we will do we are going to go to the email and take a look uh, let me refresh my email and uh, you can see right there so see this is uh, one of the file I got it and uh, this has only one record one Amir Asia 8 to 9 then I can go to the other one if I want to go back here pipeline uh, this is uh, another file so see right there hmm one thing I noticed that uh, it is uh, executing the same file over and over so let me see see this is 29 okay so why it is uh, not taking the next file name let me go back here and then uh, what we can do here we can go to the Azure blob storage here go to containers and input container and we have actually files uh, there is a file called 21 let me see what that is file is edit okay there is a 21 file there so that should be there as well let me go back to my Azure blob sorry this uh, data factory and here let's see the variables so this is 29 29 21st right so then uh, we have 28 so if I go right there inside so set variable okay let me go back here let me go in the web if I see right there where what did you get so 29 
Okay, so what did you get? 29. Then 29 again. And 29 again. So, uh, maybe we can uh, do one thing. Uh, looks like whatever it saved uh, in the variable that's the first time it is taking the same value let me go to the for each loop and i'm gonna do one thing i'm gonna refresh the value so first of all what i will do um i was believing uh, like each time i run it uh, it should change the value of a variable but looks like it did not so i'm gonna use another set variable and in this uh, set variable uh, i'm gonna first uh, uh, set the value of the variable to the blank so variable full path and here I'm going to set uh, this value to the blank okay so uh, let me add content here let me see if I can just do double uh, slashes here okay so let's see let's rerun this pipeline again and uh, see if uh, first we reset the value then uh, concatenate uh, sorry um, first of all we are setting to the blank and then we are setting the value to the actual file name and then sending then in the next iteration it should do the other one so let's debug now this is complete today and let's take a look this is 29 and then we have another 29 let's see this is another 29 this is another 29 and this is another 29 so have no idea why we are getting only 29 hmm. let me check on this guy so 829 yes this is also 29 so the file name is not changing here and I have no idea I was thinking that each time it is going to go inside the loop uh, it is uh, ah one thing can happen Look. so in go to settings and uh, let's do sequential so that will do it okay so I think that that's what it will do because it's trying to kind of run in parallel maybe that's the reason and uh, let me debug and uh, that uh, should uh, take care of it okay now you see that uh, now it isn't sequential the first it was parallel and uh, that's where it looks like it messed up the whole process now let's go to the set variable and uh, uh, let me go to the web first so if I see 29 now okay see 28 right there so you have to do sequential otherwise you're gonna have a problem so even now I, I will say I don't really need to use the set to the equal to blank I believe even if without uh, this uh, it should work just fine so in this case I was just putting it to blank anyways let's go back to our email and take a look and uh, see if we got the emails so also there is a limitation on my account somehow like on my outlook and uh, that create problem if I send a lot of email so I'm gonna go to the uh, my it's still running okay fine so let this guy complete and let's see it completes this guy got uh, failed and this is running so now I have the right name but looks like uh, the problem is uh, send email and if I check the error I, I believe I have executed so many times with my outlook and that's where the problem is uh. Yeah, too many requests send it to service. So that's the problem, you know, because I'm using kind of free Outlook and uh, uh, that's where the problem is. If I try to send some email, uh, a lot of emails, that's where it uh, uh, have the problem. So now it should not be really issue, but uh, you can see that in the output uh, I showed you guys, uh, we should be all set. So set the for each loop to sequential. Otherwise uh, you have problem like me, you know. Uh, so if you see right there in the web, uh, I want I can show you all of that the values went uh, so in this case see the 21st file even went and it should be sent uh, the problem was only with the our uh, sequential uh, we should put put the for each loop in the sequential so click right there go to settings and hit sequential okay so this is how you will be sending uh, files as attachment uh, 
by using the Azure Data Factory. So thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe my channel and I will see you guys in the next video.